Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Crypto Success Strategies. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the drip garden and the drip faucet. Uh, look at a comparative analysis between the two for you to uh, make an informed decision on where uh, you want to spend your money and for how long. So as you can see here, um, this is the drip garden that I have. I have 249 plants. And over here on the drip faucet, I'm not as heavily invested there. Only uh, 2.34, one uh, drip deposited there. So um, that's just my particular strategy uh, for investing. But I want to walk you through a uh, spreadsheet slash calculator that I created to help you make some uh, informed decisions, especially if you're new uh, to investing in the drip network. So here is a spreadsheet. Yeah, there's a lot going on right here, but it's actually really, really simple to use. I'll provide a link to it uh, in the description below if you uh, want to take a look at it and play around with some of the numbers yourself. Um, you'll see here that I have some sections uh, this section here is for user input values, and uh, depending on when you use the calculator, um, you can update this information accordingly. And there are some instructions on how to do uh, each one of these sections here as well. But it's very simple um, on how to use it. You'll see here over here are the calculated uh, analysis, if you will, um, the projections for one month, three month, six, nine, and a whole year. And this one in the orange here represents what the values are that you put in um, for the time you start using the calculator. Um, this one is really important also because this is a, a days that you want to compound. And this is a drop box that you can, a drop down box that you can use to select the number of days that you want to uh, look at the calculations for. And that value will change here for the calculations for drip garden, and they will change here for the calculations for the drip faucet. Everything in blue will remain the same because those are hard coded um, projections or milestones, if you will. So we'll just kind of start off from the beginning here, um, pretending that uh, we're going to have an investment of $500. Um, I will go ahead and manually enter in the cost of a plant and you can find the cost of a plant um, from the uh, drip garden scheduler that most of you have you'll see up there at the top it's uh, it'll be um, identified highlighted if you will in blue and it gives you a general idea if plants were actually you could sell them that would be the value of it and that would help you determine uh, what your overall garden value is like i have identified right here and then if you already are in the garden and you already have some plants that you uh, want to add on to, you can put that number here and the calculations will uh, account for that as well. This next section here is related to the drip faucet. Um, you can put in whatever the price of drip is um, at the time that you use the calculator. For me uh, right now on March 1st, uh, 2022, the uh, price of drip is about $90, 91. It's been fluctuating. It's going down a little bit, but I expect it to come back up. And the same thing applies here. If you're already in the drip faucet, you can enter the the amount of drip that you currently have. Uh, this days to compound, this is relative for either one of these um, strategies because I want to look at a comparison between the two. If I were to make a financial investment, um, where would uh, I be in um, you know the days that I'm compounding, or if I just want to look at a a larger projection amount, where would I be then? So if, for example, um, let's just say we have a $500 investment here and the cost of plants is about $4.35, $4.35. And we're gonna assume that we're not in the garden yet and we're not in the faucet yet. Then I would also account for the price of drip here. And I'm just gonna leave it at one day for now. So if you look at a side-by-side -side comparison between the drip garden and the drip faucet, you'll see that 
in just one day, uh, depositing $500, you'll get uh, immediately 114 plants. And those plants will produce seeds per day, and those seeds produced per day will generate the number of plants that you earn or that you can sow. And so I took that three or that number there, and I kind of just multiplied it against whatever the cost of the plant is at the time. And this will give you an idea of what you would earn every day, uh, what you would earn every week if you did not stake, and what you would earn on a monthly basis if you did not stake, I'm sorry, stake, if you did not compound, um, because we're just choosing a one day factor here. So this is how things would look at the end of one day. If you scroll down here to the drip faucet, the same would apply if I'd put a $500 deposit or invested into the drip faucet, I would have 5.556 uh, drip. Uh, and also I would be earning uh, in drip 0 0.056, which equates to about $5 a day because the drip faucet pays out at 1% daily and the drip garden pays out at about 3% daily. So you're gonna see immediately a difference in what your daily earnings would be between the two uh, strategies. And so with that, um, you can see also see the projections that are out for one month, three months, six, so on and so forth. So if we just look at the first month, if I uh, compounded, now these uh, account for compounding uh, every day, once a day. Of course, you can do as many as possible, as many um, plants as you have available and um, as often as you choose to in the faucet as well. But this is just saying once a day. So once a day with the $500 deposit with no starting plants or no starting drip, by the end of that 30 days, I, my garden value will be about $1,300 and I'd be generating roughly nine plants a day or about $43 a day. Of course, that's assuming that these plant costs and the drip price remain constant throughout that time. Um, that may or may not be the case, but this is just an analyzer for you to kind of get an idea of where you want to start your investment or investing or where you may think about moving your strategy to. If you look at the drip faucet, uh, same time frame in one month, um, your drip faucet value would be about $673. This is assuming that you're compounding every day, once a day. And you would have um, about $6.67 in daily earnings. So right off the bat, or not right off the bat, but just looking at the one month comparison, you'll see in the drip garden, you could be making $43 a day versus $6.67 per day in the faucet. And so here you will see just a quick snapshot of your uh, faucet value and your garden value based on the day's compounding. So let's play with that a little bit. So let's look out at seven days. If you change the number to seven days, I don't know if you saw that or not, but the calculations in the orange area uh, updated itself. And so now it's starting to account for compounding when you choose more than one day. So with a $500 deposit into the drip faucet, after seven days, you would have generated 139 plants and your value for your garden would be about $629, which equates to roughly $20.29 per day. Same here with the drip faucet, that $500 deposit over seven days would grow to about $536. But one thing to note here is that your your drip faucet, the drip amount is what's really key when you're looking at the faucet because yes, it's only at 1% compared to 3% with the garden, but there's one factor in here that I think um, should not be overlooked and that is what the possible future price of drip would be um, going forward. So uh, that's something to think about when you're making your analysis as well. And one last thing I wanna do before we get over to the uh, last uh, piece of information I want to share. just want to jump out to about three weeks, 21 days or so, because we also have a month here, so we don't need to do 30. So at about three weeks in, uh, assuming that these prices are roughly about the same, you're looking at a drip garden value of almost $1,000. So in 21 days, you will have um, doubled your input or your, or your investment if you are compounding at least once a day um, in the drip garden. Here in the drip faucet, 
the value is only increased by $116, but what you really have here is six, almost seven drip, um, which can be very, uh, very profitable for you should the value of drip increase uh, over time or as they project it should or will. And so that's pretty much it of what I wanted to show you as to how the uh, drip uh, network and the drip uh, faucet and garden actually work. I think it's pretty cool to uh, kind of take a look at what you are thinking about investing and to see what that actually uh, will do over time. And since we're talking about time, if, if you were to stay in each of these platforms for a certain amount of period, let's just predict out six months. If you were able to compound every day for six months with a $500 deposit, your garden will have grown to well over $180,000 and your um, drip faucet would be almost $3,000. But look, you would have over 32 uh, drip um, that you would have generated just by simply compounding every day. So something to think about, uh, something to um, use for your analysis as where you want to go and how you want to invest your money. One final thought before I uh, end this recording. Um, I just had to show you here the quick uh, comparison between the two uh, strategies that I just talked to you about, um, the drip network and the drip garden. I identified a couple of key highlights between the two. You'll see over here in the drip network or the drip faucet, um, it has some key um, advantages, if you will. There's a stabilized ROI of about 1%. Uh, you can pretty much guarantee that 1% every day. Um, instead of it fluctuating uh, day by day, that allows for some consistency. Uh, you'll see here that the, uh, the, the price increase of drip in the future, uh, that may be another decision point that you want to consider uh, when deciding which strategy to use. And uh, at the time of making this video, the drip prices are actually pretty low. So if you're thinking about getting in, you can buy more for less. So your investment uh, will will carry you uh, longer and actually buy you more drip than if the price of drip were uh, much higher than they are today. And then the last thing that I pointed out here is that they have a referral program. It's tiered. And uh, one thing that you have to do is you must hold the R34P tokens in order to uh, benefit from any referrals that come your way. Um, but it's it can be very profitable. As a matter of fact, Forex and his team told you this uh, so right in the uh, website of the drip faucet itself, it says the best strategy for drip is to focus on real world adoption uh, by building out your team through direct referrals, because as you re you will receive bonus rewards from referrals on their deposits and downline down line bonuses from players they refer based on the amount of of BR34P tokens you hold in your wallet. So he kind of gave you the answer to the test here um, for growing your drip faucet. And that is to really focus on getting uh, people to join your team. Um, so that will help you to uh, receive money or receive rewards that you didn't have to put in yourself. Uh, the same here with the drip garden, identify some key uh, points to consider when you're making your decision. Uh, the daily ROI is higher than the faucet. Uh, for the drip garden, it's 3%. And uh, so that allows you to grow your position much faster, as you saw over there in the spreadsheet calculations. Uh, also, uh, there's an increase in value of plants in the future. So if the value of plants actually glows up in the future, so will your, your value of your garden. Uh, there's a, a nice little piece that Forex and his team has added to the drip garden, and that's the ROI time multiplier which basically means that the longer you stay in the garden, the more uh, your ROI will grow. And then of course, they also have a referral program in the drip garden that pays out 5% uh, on referrals. And the caveat here, or the, the rule here is that you must uh, harvest dogs. I'm sorry, that says cogs, but that's supposed to be dogs um, in order to be a part of the uh, referral program. And again, in the white paper, he identified the the way to be successful in the drip garden. He said the object of the game is to harvest seeds sooner and more often than the other animals. 
This in turn earns you more seeds to harvest faster. It allows you to buy more plants using your daily seeds harvest, which is the DRIP BUSD liquidity token. And that will 3x your seeds within 30 days or less. So there's no secret to how to um, participate in either one of these uh, strategies, either the DRIP faucet or the DRIP garden. And his Forex and his team actually laid out the best strategies to use depending on which one you choose. And so for me, I'm here in the drip garden and I'm doing exactly this. I am trying to harvest as frequently as possible. And I can promise you that uh, this actually works. If, uh, you'll see that over time, um, just one or two more seeds or one or two more harvests per day will really help accelerate uh, your plant growth uh, for your garden. So just wanted to point that out. And yeah, this guy, that's me down here at the corner. I just wanted to uh, show you show you that. I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. So anyway, um, thank you for uh, listening and uh, watching this video. Um, I'm going to continue to put out content like this. Uh, hopefully it'll, you'll find it helpful, especially if you're new uh, to the Drip Network and you're just wanting to kind of get a full picture of what's going on. There's plenty of videos out there, plenty of, of people who are, are providing really good information. And on that note, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor, a financial advisor in any means. Um, uh, don't take what I'm telling you um, and go and run with it. I'm just a guy on the internet uh, sharing some information uh, that I think may be helpful. Uh, these are the strategies that I'm personally using. And uh, you should do your own due diligence and do your own research and only invest in what you're willing to, le to lose. So with that being said, hey, thank you guys very much for watching my video. And uh, stay tuned. Please like, share, subscribe um, so you won't miss any uh, new content I'll be putting out. Um, again, thank you very much. Talk to you later.